Lady Oshun, we at your church. You don't call this church, do you? No, this is a <laughs> teaching center. It's What's the sign on, on outside? The Temple of Divine Love, Esoteric Teaching Center. The Temple of Divine Love. This is where you now, now you right on, love. Yeah, you right. I can see the lake. I can see the lake from here. You're on 79th Street. We so far. We, I think you're like the last uh, storefront before we see the lake. We're at yeah. 79th. How far east are we? Uh, 3000. Wow, 3000 East 79th Street. We're on the lake. And you're the last storefront. Can't can't miss it, right? And the, absolutely. How long you been here? Uh, I think we've been here four years. Four years? Now look at that camera over there. Look at that lens to tell folks. Why do you why do you have a divine teaching center? I have a divine teaching center because I have a divine mission, which is to uplift uh, fallen humanity, to impart wisdom, understanding, and knowledge to all those who are open and receptive to it. Uh, you're a spiritual person. Yes, I am. Explain to those who, who never saw you before, because you're going on, on the World Wide Web. You're going, oh. you're worldwide now. I'm on, oh, I'm on what does Oshun mean? Oshun. Oshun is the uh, the name of a Norisha who, or a deity, who is the female essence of God, who is uh, the epitome of creativity, wealth, abundance, beauty, eroticism, uh, sexuality. Uh, femininity in its wholeness. Lydia Oshun, we're, in the, we're on the south side of Chicago, 79th Street, 3000 East on 79th Street in America, in the United States of America, and most Americans say they believe in God. They believe in spirit. You know, you know I have my trouble with that. That's, okay. another, that's another, but I say that because we're supposed to be such spiritual people, such religious people, but we have so many divisions. Some people say Barack Obama, if he becomes president, president would have a great opportunity to heal some of the racial divides we have in this country. But why do we have so much racial divide, so much crime? You know, we're in the hood, and there's crime in the but hood. We're not in the hood. We're, we're, we're in a neighborhood. I refuse to denigrate myself <laughs> and to the hood, hood and get it's and the ghetto. Hood. It's, the hood. it's not the hood. <laughs> This South Shore, when the other people lived here, this was the this was the place to be. I, now that we live here, now it's called the hood. No, this is still the same I, place. Like I tell and my children, we, we, some people say we we live in the hood, but I say we in the hood, but not of the hood. Which is, you know, what I'm saying we in the hood, and not of the hood. Oh, probably. The hood is the hood is a is a is a, a is a mindset. It's not the building. It acts, it's absolutely. And that's why I refuse to even that's give right. it power by discussing it as the hood. But I think Barack Obama, if elected. Uh, would show that the consciousness, the collective consciousness in America is changing. And of course, when you have uh, one energy going one way, you're going to have just as much opposition. I've seen a lot of racism rise up that had been dormant for years is now coming, you know, it's, it's, it's coming out again. Evil's going to be there. It, but, I mean, it's getting more predominant. Wow. It's more wow. pronounced now than it ever was. Right. I had, my granddaughter was attacked mm -hmm. uh, in Southern California, mm -hmm. and they've never had any problems, you know, but um, I, I saw, I don't know how true it is, but I saw that uh, even the Ku Klux Klan was endorsing Barack Obama. <laughs> I, I saw that video. <laughs> I said, okay, you know, uh, I, I love Barack, but I don't think that he can do, um, it's not, it, it doesn't rest on his shoulders. Right. There are a lot of people who are conscious, who are bringing about a conscious transformation of the collective consciousness. Oprah's doing a great deal, Barack is doing something, you know, everybody's putting their bits and pieces. You got Wayne Dyer, you have Deepak Chopra, you have... Uh, Reverend John Lopez, we're all doing our part. You're doing your part. Right. And what we're doing is we are bringing light into a dark setting. People have lived in the dark so long that they think that they're by themselves. When you're in a dark room, you can't see who else is in there. Mm -hmm. So people have been in the dark so long, they felt separated, they felt uh, uh, divided from other people. And now that light is coming onto the planet, they recognize that maybe I'm not by myself. Maybe I can be included. Maybe we can live in a harmonious um, uh, unity, global unity. This is what we, we all need to strive for, is global peace and global unity. 
Excellent. I, I talk about the, the racial divisions, and we have uh, economic divisions. Um, there's divisions in people. They're, 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 I think and, some of the, and a lot of folks' homes right now, they're, they're divided homes right now. Absolutely. How do we, since we're so spiritual, since many of us believe in God, how do we heal our homes, okay. heal our neighborhoods, First and heal our First of all, land? we can't believe in a God outside of ourselves and heal anything. You have to unite within yourself. You have two things going on within yourself. You have a higher consciousness and a lower consciousness. And there's always going to be that striving between the two. But once you have contacted your center of peace and you recognize your oneness with the all that is the source of all things, the God outside of yourself, you recognize that you are a small part of that great unity and that other people are, then you can have peace in yourself, in your home, in your community, in your uh, nation, and in the world. But it begins with you. You've got to find peace within yourself. You've got to unite with, you've got to recognize the divinity within yourself before you can recognize it anywhere else. If I don't see God in me, I can't see God sitting up in the sky somewhere. But some people don't see that, they don't see that they're God or the, they don't see that, that God is in them. They think God is up in the ether that's somewhere, what, floating around Mars what, somewhere. That's what that's what we call ignorance. That's what we call darkness. Until you know that God is within you, then you are uh, uh, walking in darkness. It doesn't matter what name you give to the source. You can call it Allah. You can call it uh, uh, Jehovah Jireh. You can call it uh, Lord. Whatever name you you uh, deem perfect for your understanding of deity, fine. But until you can see that connection within yourself, and if you can feel good about yourself, you got to feel good about yourself before you can feel good about God, Jesus, Muhammad, anybody else. But, it's, but you know, you'd agree, uh, Lady Ashun, it is, a, it is a work in progress. We Absolutely. are works in progress because I, I, I used to be able to believe <laughs> that you can go to a divine teaching, esoteric teaching center like this, or you can read a Tony Robbins book, or, a deep, or listen to a Deepak Chopra, Wayne Dyer CD, and... All your problems will be solved in a matter of a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It, don't, it, it doesn't it, work what like that. What is the old Buddha saying? It was like, uh, I think somebody told me this years ago. They said, before enlightenment, it is draw water and chop wood. wood. And after enlightenment, it is draw, draw water, water and chop, chop wood. wood. So, yeah. Shine on, shine off. It's work. Right. It's work. If we say it, okay, we say that God is infinite, right? Right. And if we say we know all about God, then we are putting limitations on that that we say is uh, infinite. We are finite uh, expressions of the all that is. So you have to go through things in order to have faith. If you never experienced any challenges and come out of them, you would not have faith. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your um, faith has to be tested. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and your faith will be tested. 